I was delighted when asked by the Irish Photo Archive to contribute a foreword to their digital book covering JFK's visit to Ireland in 1963. I had the pleasure in June of 2013 of welcoming Caroline Kennedy and her family to an exhibition in the National Library marking the 50th anniversary of the visit of JFK to Ireland, which was a memorable occasion. I was only a young lad at the time of Kennedy's visit, but I remember the excitement surrounding his arrival and the sorrow that came just a few short months afterwards when he was assassinated. Kennedy gave the Irish a reason to be proud of their nation and a reason to believe in themselves. Kennedy had visited his family's homestead in Duncanstown, County Wexford, before his 1963 visit. It was just after the end of World War II and he was a journalist at the time, working for Hearst newspapers. He knew how humble this homestead was, yet he did not hesitate to bring the world's media with him when he returned. The photo is taken inside the house by Andy Farn and preserved by the Irish Photo Archive showed a genuine affection between the cousins. It was the image of Mrs Mary Ryan planting a welcome kiss on the cheek of her visiting cousin who just happened to be the President of the United States that made the front pages the next day. You could say that Kennedy was part of the first generation of diaspora that could travel back to Ireland with ease, thanks to advances in air travel. Since then, our ties with our relatives abroad have strengthened enormously. I know Irish people that have gone to the US and made their mark. And when I toured the US with the Kerry football team, Back in the 70s and 80s, I met many Irish Americans that cared deeply about their heritage. The same story is replicated in the UK, in Australia, anywhere the Irish go and gather together. As the first ever Minister for Diaspora Affairs, I hope to showcase how our heritage is being protected by companies like the Irish Photo Archive. Initiatives like this digital book that harness advances in technology to both preserve our heritage and educate the public can help reach new audiences. And it is a project that I'm really very proud to be part of.